Cliff and I am the owner of Sweetest Honey Baking Co. This video is going to be all about best practices for using your cookie decorating kit that you may have purchased um, for whatever season it may be. We are currently going to experiment with our Valentine's Day 2021 cookie decorating kit, but every single season is going to be very similar in all of the things that are included. This video is not going to be a tutorial on how to decorate the cookies in your kit, but rather just how to use the kit and tips and tricks for making it work the best for you, depending on who you are, the age of the person that is using it, and how you want to use it. So every single kit includes the same basic things. Two sets of sprinkles, both different, and according to season, you can see these have hearts for Valentine's Day, and these are all different color, pink and red and white little ball sprinkles. Then you have four different icing colors and 12 cookies, as well as a paintbrush. And then of course, a set of directions where most of this is described, but I thought that it might be easier for people to have a visual look at how to do everything. So a couple of things. First off, with your sprinkles, I find it easiest to get a couple of little bowls and to open up your sprinkles and just sprinkle them into the bowl. So that way you have the wider surface to be able to grab from to decorate your cookies. Um, instead of having to shove your hand into the, the thin plastic and you know risk them spilling or breaking or whatnot. So it's just easier to go ahead and empty them into little bowls for yourself. Next, with your cookies, we do our very best to make sure that your cookies, especially if they are shipped, if you are a local pickup, then you probably have no problem at all. But if you have a shift order and you have a cookie that is broken, know that we do our very best to make sure that that does not occur. However, we cannot control how they are handled after they leave our door. Um, so you'll probably notice all of the bubble wrap and the wrinkled paper and the giant fragile stickers on the side. We truly do our very best, but accidents happen and sometimes you end up with a broken cookie. If that is the case, you can take the part of the, let's say it was broken right here, okay? You can take the part of the broken cookie, use one of your icings, cut a little bitty hole, pipe icing onto the crack, stick them together, and then just let that dry for a couple of hours and voila, your cookie is good as new and ready to decorate. So you will have 12 cookies. With these, we have three different shapes with four of each. And then we have our icing. Now know that it is completely normal and actually to be expected that your icing will separate upon delivery, especially if you are one of those people who have um, a shipped order. Again, local orders, maybe not so much, um, but this is completely normal. All you need to do is knead your bag and reincorporate that color back into your icing. And then whenever you do get ready, to decorate your cookies and you cut your bags. You can also, before you start squirting your icing onto a cookie, just cut it a little bit and then squirt it off to the side on a napkin or a plate or whatnot, um, just so any of that extra liquid gets off before it gets on your cookie. All that is is just sugar and water and icing color. So nothing to be alarmed of, totally normal. And like I said, completely to be expected. Next is your paintbrush. If you have read the directions, you see that I mentioned about using food coloring on dried icing, which is completely a great idea, which is why I put it on here. Um, and if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that actually one of my specialties is painting on cookies. So you would flood your icing, um, flood your cookie with your color of icing, and then you could use food coloring to paint it. But I also wanted to mention that part of the reason why I always include a paintbrush in every kit is for little hands, specifically, children, well, let's say two, three, one, two, three ages, um, people that it might be easier for them to have the icing squirted into the bowl and then use your paintbrush to actually paint the icing onto the cookie versus having to hold the bag itself. I know that my daughter has been decorating cookies since she could sit up straight. Um, and that was the best way that I found for her when she was about a year old was to use the paintbrush and still at two, it's easiest for her. So that if you are decorating with a small baker, then this would be perfect for them to be able to paint the icing onto their cookies. Now I just want to go over some of the tidbits from the decor um, the directions um, here. 
So one of the things, if you look at number two to cut a small hole in the tip of the bag, here's the thing you guys. So if you can tell on your bag here, you have the seam. So what you wanna do is you wanna actually cut your hole perpendicular to the seam. That'll make sure that when you start flooding your cookie, you don't have any indentions on the flooding. Now with this consistency of icing, it shouldn't matter. You should get a clean surface no matter what, but this just ensures that that's the case. Also, as mentioned on the sheet, always cut small and then cut bigger if you need to, because you can always cut the hole bigger, but you can obviously never go back to it being smaller. So start small and then work your way to find what, um, what opening level is best for you. Then you would decorate your cookies as you wish. And with your kit, you should be able to find um, from this channel, a video on different inspirational tips on how to decorate your cookies. Um, I'm actually about to do one for this kit right here. And so you can feel free to look back at those and see if you have, um, if there are any ideas that might inspire you. But as always, your creativity is what is most important here. And that was the whole point of this product is for you to be able to get creative. So use your imagination. Feel free to use my examples, but do as you wish. One thing that I would like to mention is if you are adding sprinkles onto your cookies, the sooner you add the sprinkles onto the wet icing, the more likely they are to stay. Now, if you add them immediately, they will sink into your icing. So if you want that, great. But if you want them to sit up a little higher, then I would wait about 60 seconds or so, let your icing just kind of harden just a little bit, and then add your sprinkles on top of that. And as always, be sure to tag us in your finished product at Sweetest Honey Baking Co. on any of our social media um, sites. We love to see what you can come up with. And actually you will be able to share your finished product with other people who get cookery, cookie decorating kits and you never know who you might inspire. So we love to see your finished product, no matter your skill level or your age level or what you come up with, we love to see it. It truly just makes my heart smile knowing that you are getting to have as much fun with these as I do. And that is how you use your decorating kit. So if you have gotten the decorating kit and you're looking for inspiration, go find your kit here on the, on the channel and feel free to look at my examples on awesome things that you can do with your cookies. And as I mentioned before, please be sure to share your pictures with us. We would love to see them. And you can go to our Facebook site and leave a review, an honest review. How did you like it? Did you find that it was very easy to use? Do you have any constructive criticism? Is there anything that we can help you with? You can always leave us a message on Facebook or Instagram, or you can email us at hello at sweetestmeatbakingco.com. Bye guys.